Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to Python tutorial 3. Uh, we, what we have presented is um, how, what is the uh, very basic concept behind this uh, discrete Fourier transform which will be implemented in terms of fast Fourier transform algorithm in Python and we have seen how to create the X grid. So, there are two steps in uh, Fourier transforming a function. First, we have to create the K grid and uh, with the help of FF, uh, FFT FREQ uh, functionality of SciPy FFT pack and then we have to convert the function uh, with the help of FFT. So, what we have seen here is that uh, the, the cos function, so this is your x grid and this is your k grid. On this k grid we are representing it and we had cos 20 x this was the function and once we have Fourier transform it, this, this, this is we have defined as y and we, once we have Fourier transform it, we are taking absolute value of this y k, plotting the absolute value of y k because y k is Fourier transform function. Once we Fourier transform it, it is always going to be complex function and to visualize a complex function, it is convenient to use the absolute value of that complex function so that we can get an idea what is going on. What we see that we have once we have converted this cos function, we know that uh, cos cos omega naught t when in the time domain we are very much familiar with it. This is the frequency and frequency is related to the Fourier domain. So, similarly on the uh, x axis this is the special related to special frequency 20 and that 20 is now showing up here this k naught value this is this is actually cos k naught x and the k special frequency is defined by this k naught. So, this k naught value is not now showing up. So, we have single frequency uh, 20 but it has it is showing up in the negative regime also. This negative and positive part is just the consequence of the Fourier transform. It has nothing to do with the practical reality. So, in the practical purpose we can only take note down this positive part of the frequency and we can take a look at it the frequency components we are getting only k naught. That should be because cos function is oscillating over the space cos function are oscillating with the special frequency 20 and that is showing up after the Fourier transform. We have only one frequency component which is 20 on the x grid. Um, so, this is, uh, this, this is the meaning of the Fourier transform of, 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 this, of this function. We will move on and we will check what is going on with the Gaussian function and we know that Fourier transform of a Gaussian is another Gaussian. So, if I have a Gaussian function in the x domain, then in the k domain I will get another Gaussian function. Okay. But then question is at what point the Gaussian function will be uh, centered that depends on uh, okay. So, the, this, this is not a simple Gaussian function, it is actually uh, a, tra a traveling Gaussian function. So, it has it, it, it is a Gaussian pulse let us say. So, it, it does not look like this, this this x e to the power minus x square cos 20 x this is a fast uh, moving component. So, this is more like a Gaussian wave packet. So, we should we should make it a Gaussian wave packet. 
So, this is the fast component, this is the slow component which is considered to be an envelope function. So, how does it look like in the x domain? It should have an envelope function but it is an oscillatory part. So, this is the x domain function look like this and we need to find out what is the uh, k domain uh, function look like. So, we will move to uh, the uh, laptop now and in the laptop we will we, in the program we will make some changes. We keep the x grid to be the same, we do not make changes here. Depending on the convenience one can change it, but for the time being we will not change it. We will define when we will when we'll define the uh, uh, this uh, Gaussian wave packet. on the x grid we have to multiply it by exponential function and this exponential function is going to be x x square that is the function. Now exponential function is not again available with built in library in python. So, we have to import it again from the uh, scipy and then the k grid uh, formation is remains to be the same, it does not have any change. Then uh, the Fourier transform of the functions remains to be the same and plotting part is remains to be the same. But before we plot that, we will try to plot um, the function itself first to find out what kind of functions we are considering here. So, plot x versus y and the limit we have to select I will check whether this limit will work or not. So, let us run the program. If we run the program we see that there is a pulse localized. It is not a pulse, it is a wave packet which is localized, but the limit which we are selecting minus 30 to plus 30 it is not convenient to look at the inspect that wave packet very clearly. So, we will set the limit to be minus 5 to plus 5 minus 5 to plus 5. We, we rerun the program and we see that it is centered at 0 position and uh, uh, x position and it is like an wave packet. The wave packet has been at the position. So, at this time if the wave packet looks like this, what are the frequency components is carrying that is exactly the information we will get from the Fourier transform. So, we this entire function will be Fourier transform now and um, if we if we do the Fourier transform we will now plot the Fourier transform function so that we can get an idea of what we are having here. So, k then absolute values of y k and limit we will change again because this limit will help us to see everything. What we see is that if we run the program, we see that uh, again there are negative and positive part of the uh, spectrum. Uh, we go back to the slide now. Uh, what we see here is that um, this is the x domain which is representing and wave packet, this is the Gaussian envelope, this is the Gaussian envelope and the fast varying component is cos 20x. So, this is the let us say wave function I have and this wave function if we convert it uh, uh, to the k domain. So, this is the k domain. On the k domain we see that there is always negative and positive part because the nature of the Fourier transform makes that, but for practical purpose we can just take the positive part of the, um, of the Fourier transform spectrum. What we see is that the center, it is centered at 20 and that should be because we know that from the wave packet discussion of the wave packet is that if I have an wave packet represent wave Gaussian wave packet represented by e to the minus x square cos omega naught t 
uh, sorry uh, k naught x it means that this uh, sent uh, the, the average uh, component average um, uh, the spatial frequency component is going to be k naught. So, the frequency components is distributed around this k naught. So, I have this k naught and then around this k naught all these frequency components the special frequency components are available. So, that is the way uh, we have understood the, uh, the Gaussian wave packet before and that is representing here. So, one thing one is quite clear from, from this demonstration that a uh, Gaussian Fourier transform of a Gaussian is another Gaussian and uh, it is centered at k naught which is the uh, the, cent, uh, the the uh, the the average frequency component the special frequency component for the wave packet so with this uh, uh, we have come to the end of this uh, uh, python tutorial what we have learned from this tutorial is that there are two simple functionalities already given in scipy uh, dot FFT pack sub module. Uh, one uh, functionality will help us get the uh, construct the k grid, another functionality will help us uh, Fourier transform the discretized wave function from space domain to the uh, to the uh, Fourier domain. Uh, in, in the FFT FREQ I need an input the input is the window length which is the number of elements in the present in the X grid and delta X is the uh, uh, spacing in the X grid and uh, when you are doing Fourier transform of the function the discretized function this function name needs to be given. So, with this we will conclude this uh, tutorial, uh, we will meet again uh, in the uh, next module and tutorial.